Hello, Patrick Walchuk here with a financial analysis on a building that sold in July of 2024. And if you enjoy getting these, hit the notification button, the subscription, and uh, we'll get them uh, sent out to you at the beginning of every month. So what we're going to start off with is uh, doing an analysis on a four-unit building that sold in uh, central Ottawa. It's in a nice neighborhood. And this property was listed for basically a million five. Its sell price was $1,360,000 and the scheduled rental income uh, on, on this building was $90,500. The effective rental income, when we deduct 3% for vacancy and bad debt, by the way, that's what that means, is um, almost $88,000. The stated operating expenses were $27,000. When we add in 5% for maintenance and management, um, that gives us a total operating expense of almost $36,000, which in turn gives us the net operating income of about $52,000. And again, now that we know those things, we can calculate a cap rate. And the cap, as you might expect for this neighborhood and what we just saw, it's uh, 3.8 that's a subjective thing. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, that's low. Other people say, well, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, the operating expense ratios, a tad on the high side. I would like to see this closer to about uh, 30 to 35, but anyhow, it's about 41% uh, for the operating expense ratio. It sold for 15 times the gross, 26 times the net. And <clears throat> what it would take in order to be able to have a positive cash flow on this property is a 45% down payment, which has been kind of the norm for the past few years. So a 45% down payment on this specific property equates to about $612,000. And um, with the mortgage that provides us, uh, looking at the mortgage payments, the annual debt service or ADS, uh, that's about $52,000. And that provides us with an a uh, cash flow, an annual cash flow of $311, and that's an ROI of 0.05%. Thank you for watching.